Well, I'm your host, Lorelian. This is my channel, Mega Publix, and today you are watching my um, State of the Arabian Union between sessions, between multiplayer sessions three and four of our Live by the Sword, Die by the Gun Let's Play. So, today we've got a few issues. Uh, I got a few bullet points here. So, Dundo is coming. That's, that's the first big one. Dundo, the United Kingdom is threatening to attack me over these colonies here. I'm just going to go through the through these uh, bullet points and I'm going to talk about them as they uh or I'm going to go into into detail later. Uh Mevil, the Russian Empire, my greatest protector right now, is invading Japan. Now, Chinese Japan that is not actual Japan, Japan. Now there's a few reasons that that could be. Um, one of the theories is that he wants reforms because he uh, he fought this war before and lost. And the other could be that he simply wants his province. He wants, re and when I say he wants reforms, I mean he wants to get his militancy higher. Um, so that way he can actually pass reforms. And if he's losing wars, his militancy is going to go up, and he's going to be able to pass some reforms. Um, that's not a very good way to do it. I personally prefer my going hardcore socialist route. Uh, however, the other theory is that he does want this province, or does want the state. The other theory, and I think the better one, I think the best one of those theories that I don't think anyone on the table has considered, is that he wants to stop the Empire of Japan from taking all of China, because really nobody else is. I don't see the United Kingdom, especially if they're so focused on getting their shit back in Africa and also trying to hold on to India, actually dealing with China. And that's a huge problem. Uh, the next issue is that the crisis system sucks. <laughs> I uh, didn't realize how difficult it was to actually create a crisis against a great power. And that doesn't make much sense because of the crisis that caused World War One was against a great power. So, what do I mean by that? Let me show you here real fast. Increase tension. This is not in the middle of a multiplayer game. This is uh, between sessions. Crisis. All right, let's see how fast this flashpoint tension's going up. All right. Um, war justification. Uh, national focus plus 1.5. All right, that's cool. Um... Let's see now. Base decay? Well, that's about half of my uh, bonus from National Focus gone. Uh, great, His great power ranking. Note that he is only great power number five. Reduces it by, well, the other half. And then I'd still need to, because great powers are at war, and at this point in the game, they're always going to be at war. That's another .09. So, even if I'm focusing on there, even if I've got this focus going, this flashpoint tension is never going to increase. So the only way I'm getting the French ter my French cores back is by taking them. Either via Pan Nationals Rebels, which will happen if France, if France's militancy goes up, or by physically going in and taking them. The next big issue that plagues the world, France's player is up in the air. We had Paige. He started as France. And then... He's not the most reliable person on the planet is the big issue. Um, He, he did have a funeral, and that, that happens, and I'm very, very sad for it. He generally does leave games, ignoring the funeral. He generally does leave games, so we're not even sure if he's coming back. Um, so we've sort of tossed it around, but if I believe if um, he does come back, he's got primary play on France. Uh, we had Poe playing France for a little while. And the issue with Poe is he's a, he's actually a pretty good player, but uh, he goes AFK a lot. 
Um, that'll create a few issues that I'll be talking about very shortly. And then we also had Justin, who was playing the United Provinces as France for a little while. Um, and the issue, the issue with that is he's kind of a new player. He, he doesn't really know what he's getting into, and especially if we've got um, the United Kingdom taking more and more of Africa, we're going to have a lot of a lot of issues with the United Kingdom. All right, so let's go back to uh, Dundo is coming. So I have been able to build a coalition against the United Kingdom. That's the upside. The bad side is that coalition probably won't be ready for another five years, uh, which is the downside. The coalition consists of the Kingdom of Italy and a Latin American Union and the United States of America. I think the United States of America will join me in fighting right away. Um, I think I can talk them into getting into starting to bring guys over into my territory so we can be ready for this British onslaught. The, uh, the Latin American Union doesn't have boats. They're building boats. They don't have the boats yet. Also, while Vaughn has very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Vohemently expects, expressed his interest in colonies in Africa. He can be wishy-washy at times. So I'm not 100% sure if... Now, he's vehemently expressed that he's interested in this, and I still feel that there's a possibility that he might not jump in. Um, Italy underestimates itself dramatically. Uh, Kramer, that is. Uh, he's in a good position to start doing things, but... He either needs to move stuff down here. Like, he's afraid because, again, the boat issue. The boat issue is huge, by the way. I'd like to get France in on this coalition, just because... And if France was in on this coalition, we'd actually probably stand a pretty good chance of winning. But Justin as France, I don't know if that'll be that helpful. Um, Paige's France would be nice, but Paige doesn't take betrayal very well, and eventually I'm going to need to get these colonies... Or not these colonies, these cores back. Um, Russia is entangled with war against the Empire of Japan. The Empire of Japan says that it will join my coalition if if I can get Meevil to back off uh, from attacking Japan and to renounce his claims on China. That is impossible. Um, and I unfortunately don't have any other bargaining ships. He has no in Japan has no interest in. Australia or any other British territory, um, which is very unfortunate. And Mevil, my general protector of the Russian Empire, is tied up fighting Japan right now. So I don't think we're going to get any help from there. Germany is lying low. I haven't been able to get him to sit down and agree to any any sort of coalition. Um, he's been lying low. He hasn't been throwing his weight around. Uh, he says it's because he feels like an international pariah, which makes sense. Uh, because there was that huge coalition against him. Admittedly, I was the one trying to organize the coalition against him to strike as fast as possible because no one was going to help me fight France while Germany was this powerful, thinking that they would need France. Uh, let me see now. What else is there to say? Um, I need to give Vaughn military access so he can get shit over here. I need to encourage soldiers. But I am probably going to lose this war. Now, that's not as bad as it sounds. Um, and why I say that is because remember what I was saying about relevance? An African war, as long as it doesn't go beyond this point, as long as it's just all fought down here, makes me relevant again without destroying my economy. And if we have an African war, I can't let anything beyond this line 
get occupied, otherwise it's going to have a huge effect on my economy and growth. Now, I'm willing to surrender very fast in a war against the United Kingdom. Um, unless, like, the United States is taking the lead, and I will explain what I mean by that in a second. What this does, and I'm hoping to only lose, like, one or two colonies out of this, not all four that I took. What this does is it makes the United Kingdom look like a bad guy. See, I'm gonna lose the war, but not the wars. If the United Kingdom looks like a bad guy, if the United Kingdom is actively blocking out everyone out of Africa, there will be another war against the United Kingdom. And there will be a bigger coalition than what I am mustering now. It will be much bigger. It will probably include Germany. It will probably include France. And it will probably include Russia. I can't... I can't win now. Five years from now, I can win. Not only can I win, I can get all this stuff back. I can probably even get more out of this. In fact, if the United Kingdom was just not in Africa, that would be excellent. Now, I have to not be a jerk in team speak. If I do that, if I pull, if I quote unquote pull a Vaughn here and start complaining too much about him attacking me, then I'll start to look like the bad guy or the whiny guy. No, I need to look like the good guy. I need to look like the victim. Scratch that. I need to look like the survivor in this scenario. Whereas he is coming down on me, this invading foreign power, and taking my land for no other justifiable reason than it makes the borders look pretty. Um, and I don't think he understands how much of a bad guy he's gonna look when he ta when he attacks me for these colonies. I don't think he's un I don't think he understands quite yet how that's going to affect his game, especially if I've already got a pretty decent coalition against him. Unfortunately, again, that coalition is not going to be ready by the time that he attacks me. And the coalition, as it stands, could win. Well, it would probably win. Um, if, if it was ready. It's not ready, of course. Well, of course it'll probably win. There's three great powers in it and one. I'm going to call myself a pseudo-great power because score-wise, there's the great powers, then there's me, then there's another big gap in everyone else in the world. Um, is... So, let's see now. So, okay, so the other thing that happened, that could happen out of a war with, um, the United Kingdom is that I could lo Um, is that I could start losing here. And... If I... Let me, let me try to, try to explain what I'm saying. And this might not make a lot of sense yet. If I start losing... And these other great powers start fighting. I'm going to make a case to Dundo that I'm totally willing to surrender, but I can't surrender without permission from the other great powers and or my allies in particular within the war. And I'm just going to tell them they don't want to do that. I'm not going to consort them. I'm not going to ask the United States, hey, are you interested in surrendering? I'm just going to tell Dundo it's not going to happen unless the United States surrenders. I'm going to see if I can't get him to want to take Canada. That would be excellent. I really couldn't ask for much more if he uh, if he went into Canada. So this is a war, turning this into a war about African stuff. Turning this into a war about Canadian stuff in an attempt to get British troops over to Canada as opposed to over here so I can continue to come down and my allies can continue to come down. Um, is there anything else? Oh, the moment Dundo declares war, I'm going to start bargaining with him. Because again, I want to look like the good guy. I want to look like the one who's willing to negotiate and talk this through. I'm actually kind of hoping that the bargaining fail. Well, one of the bargains that I was going to make with him was surrendering, like, these colonies right here 
and maybe this one because he wants he wants Ethiopia which is I should have Ethiopia but whatever that's a story for another day in exchange for him not colonizing north of this line I think that's a pretty good deal um, however, I don't think it's something that he's willing to accept. Because, as you can see, he doesn't want anyone else in Africa. Obviously, booting the Germans out of Africa was probably a pretty good move. Um, and it's unfortunate that if the Germans do join this war, this coalition right now against, Engl against the United Kingdom, it's highly likely that they are going to take land in Africa. Anyway, I think I'm running out of time. I, I haven't actually been timing these uh, these State of the Unions. But I think that's really all the issues that I have to bring up at the moment. So as always, have a wonderful day. Please remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye everyone.